girl, me and I'm back with another video. I don't know October day 17th, and this is the second video that I'm recording in one day. So y'all gonna be seeing them videos back to back. So that's what we're listening to the video. Alright y'all, so today's video is going to be 13 solo date ideas. Yep, let's start going on solo dates. Me, I ain't starting it yet. But I'm giving y'all some date ideas, but um, I ain't at that point of solo dating. <laughs> Not quite yet, but I'm still just gonna be putting them ideas out there. So, without further ado, let's get to the video. I almost dropped it. So, yeah, now y'all might be like, I know a lot of people been solo dating there, but if you ain't, and if you down to try, let me know how they go. But self love is the best love. So, yeah, date yourself first. So without further ado, let's get into this list of 13 dates for you to go along. And let me know how y'all feel about solo dating in the comments down below. Yeah. But okay, so the first one is a restaurant date. So whether you want to breakfast, lunch, brunch, dinner, gonna get a little treat, a snack. <laughs> Take yourself on a restaurant date and vibe along, eat along, enjoy the restaurant, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the food by yourself. Yeah, so that's number one, a restaurant date. Whatever time of day you decide to go, that's what you go. But, yeah. And then number two, we have a, pic a picnic. So a picnic with a nice scenery, whether you go sit by some water you go, you know, stay and watch planes fly. You go wherever you decide to have a park. Wherever you decide to have your picnic at, go have your picnic. You can have you some snacks. You can have you some food, real food. You can have you some paint. You can paint. You can journal. You can read. You can write. Whatever you enjoy to do, do that at your picnic. And just enjoy the vibe. And then number three, we got the movies. I see a lot of people be going on solo dates to the movies. Go watch a good movie. Find something you better to go watch. Go on to the movies and go watch it. Get you some popcorn, get you a slushy, get you a little snack, whatever, not sure, whatever you want. And enjoy your movie. And then number four, we got a museum. We got the zoo. We got the aquarium. Little adventures like that you can go to. And then we got the spa. So I guess we so from the spa date. Mm -hmm. And then number six, we got a nail date. So go to the nail salon, get your nails, get your feet done, get your eyebrows done, get whatever you need done. A little self care. Is that nail salon? And then number seven, take a trip. You can take a road trip, you can take a flight, or you could just take a stay staycation. A staycation is a trip also. You ain't at home, but you home, but you ain't home because you're far enough from home. So, rather you taking one of those three, go on a little trip. Yeah. Then number eight, we got shopping. Take yourself shopping. Go shopping. Go spend some money. Retail therapy. Yeah. Then number nine, we got a sports game. So, whether you go to a basketball game, a football game, a baseball game, a soccer game, a hockey game, a tennis game, a cheerleader competition, wherever you decide to go. Go to a sports game, enjoy the vibe, watch the game, have fun. And then number 10, we got, go to a concert, or go to a show, like a comedy show. Got a little bit, a good concert, a little bit of concert, a little show. So yeah, take yourself to that. And then number 11, we got creative vision board, or prayer board, or mood board, one of those boards, just something to do. Activity complete. Yeah. And number 12, you can also have an at-home day. You don't always have to go out and do stuff. You can do stuff in your home. So at home, you can cook dinner or you can order takeout, watch a movie, do some self-care. Anything to enjoy your own company and your own safe space. So whatever you enjoy doing it in the comfort of your own home, do that. And have fun with it. So a day night in. And then last but not least, we got to take a class. 
So whatever you interested in, enjoy doing, go take that class. You can take a dance class, a yoga class, a cooking class, a baking class, a perfume making class, a candle making class, a lipstick making class, and whatever, a pottery class, whatever all the classes that's out there to do, go take your class. But any class that sparks your interest, go do that. But that was my 13 solo day ideas for you to do. And if that's your cup of tea, let me know how that goes. But yeah, so that's the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell so you get advice. Let me know. Without further ado, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video.